Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all positive integers n, 2 to the n is greater than n. Okay, so we're going to prove this by mathematical induction. So to start, let's prove the base case. Now, if you recall, in the base case, what we're trying to do is we're trying to prove this in the case where n is equal to 1. So really, we're trying to show that 2 to the power of 1 is greater than 1. Okay, but we already know that 2 to the 1 is greater than 1. Because 2 to the 1 is equal to 2, and 2 is greater than 1. So, this completes the base case. Now, let's move on to the induction step. Now, if you recall, in the induction step, what we do here is we pick out an arbitrary positive integer n. And we assume that this arbitrary positive integer n that we picked out is one where this happens to be true. And our whole goal now is to prove that this is also true if instead of n, we have n plus 1. And to see how we can show that, check this out. We know that 2 to the n plus 1 is equal to 2 times 2 to the n. But remember, by our induction hypothesis, 2 to the n is greater than n. So, if we multiply 2 on both sides of this inequality, we get 2 times 2 to the n is greater than 2n. So, we can write 2 times 2 to the n is greater than 2n. But 2n is really just n plus n. And since n is a positive integer, that means n is greater than or equal to 1. Therefore, if we add n on both sides of this inequality, we get n plus n is greater than or equal to n plus 1. So really, we can write n plus n is greater than or equal to n plus 1. So as we can see now, we have 2 to the n plus 1 is greater than n plus 1. So we have proven that this is also true if instead of n, we have n plus 1. And that completes the induction step. So because we've proven the base case and the induction step, this means our mathematical induction is complete. We have proven for all positive integers n, 2 to the n is greater than n. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.